Right, I'm in the city of Norwich, which is the county town of Norfolk. I'm staring at a building that most people probably don't realise what it is. This is the Cow Tower, C-O-W Tower. It is built in a bend of the river, which forms the defences of um, Norwich on one side. It's a completely freestanding structure and went up in about 1390, 1395. Uh, and it has a couple of claims to fame. One is that it was the first building in Britain, we think the first surviving building in Britain, to be built completely from brick. A uh, second claim to fame is it's the first fortification built in Britain solely for firearms. The white loop thing, which you can just see there, is a handgun loop, and there's a couple around other parts of the building. And the rooftop was meant to support artillery and the artillery could fire across the river to beyond those buildings there to what is now called Ketts Hill. The, the good burgesses of the town were a bit worried about defence on this side. Um, the town walls of Norwich are effectively a large letter C and this is the open gap. They just relied on the river here to create defence and they suddenly realised that with the hill visible on that side uh, the town could be fired upon with new gunpowder artillery. Norwich were very early in the gunpowder artillery stakes. Um, they were converting their um, spring-loaded artillery and ballistas etc from 1380 onwards so it puts the good burgesses and uh, aldermen of uh, Norwich well ahead of the curve in terms of adopting firearms. And this is the cow tower it still survives today preserved by english heritage and um, in the middle of a, a local park right i've moved up closer to the cow tower now the background noise has walked away uh, it's about three stories high but pan down here the basic plan of it is a circle somewhat similar to a Pictish broch and then at the back there is a second semicircle which is the stair turret so if we come over here we're now approaching the interior you can't get in it at the moment I think they have it open on heritage days etc if we step forward there is the stairs which once went up to the upper levels where the artillery was on the roof and we come to here and look inside can't give you too much here but if I now put the camera through that's it that's it and point it upwards you've got the different levels different windows embrasures etc which allowed handguns or artillery to be fired out from outside there's some mystery as to what these grooves in the wall are uh, it looks like timbers may have been inserted in there at one, some stage or another and it may have been a support for a much heavier f uh, floor level above but that's uh, a bit of a mystery there's some indication of storage as well around the walls, little cupboard arrangements just there and somewhere on the site there is a guard robe I'm assuming perhaps in that area Anyway, this is the Cow Tower in Norwich. I've called this Britain's first pillbox because it's the first weapon built for hand firearms, a uh, first building built for hand firearms and uh, artillery on the roof. Right, this is another view of the Cow Tower in Norwich, county town of Norfolk. The Cow Tower is this great brick structure, 55,000 bricks, uh, with a solid rubble infill between the two layers of brick. You can just see some of the handgun loops from which hand handguns or perhaps ultralight artillery pieces could be fired. Up on the roof was artillery, uh, major artillery, and this entire structure covered an important gap in the town defences of Norwich because they relied solely 
on the river. The river here is quite wide, not particularly fast, but, but quite wide and quite deep. Navigable up from the sea at, to at least this point. And out there in the distance beyond those buildings is Ketz Hill. Ketz Hill leads up to Mousehold Common. And that was the area that the, uh, the good Burgesses of the city were worried about. So from 1395, 1390, 1395, they built this great structure here. And this is the Cow Tower, which I tend to call Britain's first pillbox. First freestanding structure intended entirely for uh, gunpowder weapons. It's a little footnote for the Cow Tower episode. I'm on the Bishop's Bridge here in Norwich. I've just crossed over the river from where the Cow Tower is. There's a plaque here recording that in 1549 the bridge approach here was the subject of a battle between the forces of the Earl of Warwick and those of Robert Kett, who was leading the Kett's Rebellion against the religious reforms of Edward VI. Um, this is also believed to be the, well it is, the only surviving medieval bridge, bridge in Norwich. Panning back, the medieval cathedral is over there in the distance. This is the Bishop's Bridge, but on the other side, and we will just pan across, there's the Ring Road, but the pub on the far side is called the Lollard's Pit. That's it there, the Lollard's Pit. Lollards were medieval English nonconformists. They were regarded as heretics by the uh, Catholic Church. Uh, they did enjoy the support of John of Gaunt, but eventually after he died they were hounded out. Uh, unfortunately the Lollard's Pit is where many uh, people found guilty of Lollardy were actually burned at the stake. So directly at, outside the uh, the city walls, this side of the river, that is the Lollard's Pit. Best angle I can get on it, that is the sole surviving medieval bridge in Norwich. The uh, battle between Robert Kett and the Earl of Warwick took place to the right. The Lollard's Pit where uh, heretics and religious nonconformists were burned is to the left. Right, this is a final view of the Cow Tower. I'm going to quickly zoom in. There is a very cheeky heron right up there on the roof, taking advantage of the uh, last sunlight to see if he can scope himself out of dinner. There's a heron on top of the cow tower. Hey, handsome lad. And then if we pan out, there's the brick. There's one of the, uh, or two of the handgun apertures at the upper level. More embrasures at the next level down and that gives you an idea of its position in relation to the river. It, it's in a bend of the river, roughly 90 degree bend, with an arc of fire from there all the way down to the Bishop's Bridge where we just were. And in fact this whole section of the, of the city of Nor Norwich was defended simply by this river and the possibility of some, uh, some earth earth embankments or even some palisading on the far side but the only hard structure is here now the other three quarters of the wall was all solid solid masonry big tall towers some of it survives but a lot of it has gone missing uh, at the other end of Norwich is even a boom tower where a chain was stretched across to prevent vessels coming up from the sea and entering entering Norwich from the sea so that's Cow Tower in the evening, and we're just finishing off close up with the. There's the handgun apertures there. 1390 up by 1398.